Often, engineers will use room mics that will capture the sound of the whole kit in the room. I like to use two AKG 414 microphones positioned behind the drummer, quite high up, on uh, an omnidirectional pattern. So the omnidirectional pattern picks up the whole of the sound of the room. And quite often I use two room mics, but it's not always needed. Sometimes one room mic in, in front of the kit will be sufficient. But I do like to set the polar pattern on omnidirectional. And I find that that will then pick up a nice blend of the room and the drum kit. So here's the sound of my room mics. Or mics on their own. <laughs> You can really hear the sound of the kit in the room. So what I'm going to do now is mute that and solo all of the other elements that we've been working on. And then I'm going to add the room mics in. And you can hear how it starts to bring the kit to life and really makes it sound like a drum kit in a room. There's a couple of EQ tricks that we can use and usually they're more about filtering than uh, boosting and cutting. So I usually go for the old sort of telephone notch type filter where I take some of the lows and some of the highs and focus on the mid range let's try something like that so it's becoming more lo-fi but lo-fi can be quite good because we can't have everything sound in hi-fi so let's, let's actually leave that there and let's bring a little bit of that in play and take some more of that off That's better. It sounds a little bit trashy. And let's listen in the mix. Let's boost it so we can hear it. It really starts to add character and you can hear it gluing the whole of the kit together. Right, you can see that uh, how I've EQ'd it. I really don't need any low end simply because I've got that covered. I don't really need any high end because I've got that covered but I can really start to play with the mids and really focus on getting that right. The EQ that I'm using is actually similar to one of these EQ tools, which is a phone notch. There's a phone notch, and there's a, another one. There's a phone wi notch wide band, but there's a telephone EQ. Which is really quite lo-fi EQ settings. Let's try one of the other presets. There you go. You can hear how trashy that is, it's probably a little bit too extreme. So let's bring, I don't want to take out too much mids, so that's where all the information is. Oh, I see. that frequency there can't you and that's the idea really to use the drum room mics to deal specifically with the mid-range frequencies now we finish by listening to the drums 
with and without EQ, so I'm going to bypass the EQ and have a listen. And now in circuit. So you can hear the subtle difference between the two. The unequued sound isn't bad, sounds quite nice. In fact, it's really quite nice. Don't really need a lot of EQ, but with the EQ, it just sounds a little bit clearer and a little bit uh, of separation between the instruments. <laughs> 